what's up guys this tutorial is a continuation of the last one on operators in the last tutorial we had seen about arithmetic operators and the difference between pre and post increment so if you don't know about this please uh, see my last tutorial that is operators one okay so now let's start with our second type of operator that is relational or comparison operators okay what why are these operators relational or comparison why are these operators used uh, suppose we have we want to check a con we want to perform a statement based on a particular condition so for that checking purpose we need comparison and relational of operators suppose i want to compare two variables x and y i want to compare that if they are equal or not so x for comparing the equality of two variables we have this operator double equal to this means x if is what does this say is x equal to y eq this is what the statement means okay so now suppose we have th is 3 equal to equal to 4 this would return false false in the sense it will return a 0 that is x is not equal to uh, 4 0 stands for false and 1 stands for true so 3 is not equal to 4 so it would return 0 Uh, there are more such operators such as this was for is equal to right this is not equal to not equal to you might be familiar with this one greater than less than then there's less than equal to yeah greater than equal to yeah these are the comparison operators you can use them it's quite simple to use them actually uh, we'll just have a small print statement in our code suppose we have two numbers uh, yeah in the end let's remove this part let's clear it out okay I'll let it be there here I'll print Okay, print F percentage D and I'm comparing backslash in is three greater than four, okay? Three greater than greater than four it's false so it must return a zero uh, let's see what we are getting here yes it's returning a zero so yeah these are the comparison operators uh, you might use them in your if statements and uh, other other places in the further tutorials you learn about if statements where it's much useful ifs and loop and for loop purpose okay now let's the next type of operators are the logical operators okay logical operators always return logical operators always return a 0 or a 1 no other value is written by logical operator you have three basic types of logical operator one is not the second one is and uh, and the third one is or so how uh, does these three work if I take not of a number suppose I have a number like 10 if a number is non zero number what does it mean the not of it is zero for example a number is zero the not of it is one if we have a non zero number the not of that number is zero as in if you write not of 5 this comes out to be 0 
I'll show you in an example. Okay, how does and work? And is basically uh, the same way. You might have uh, if two ones comes together, then only you get a one. That is one and one is one, but one and zero or zero or one or zero and zero, all or ze all zero. So only one and one is one. And similarly for or or statement works like if both the inputs are yeah if any one of the inputs is one then the output is one I'll show you an example of not okay here I'll print print f percentage d yeah in what it puts not of 10 so I'm assuming an output to be 0 let's see what we get yeah we are getting at 0 suppose this number was 0 so we should get a 1 here yes we are getting at 1 now we we'll, uh, work out with and okay so if I say 1 and one so one and one is one so we must get a one uh, yes we are getting it okay our last one with or is quite simple you you might be thinking why I'm wasting so much time on this but yes they are useful yeah one or one or zero is one any one of the input is one so the out output will be one okay now the next type of operator are the bitwise operator bitwise operators uh, you might be knowing that these integers and what a uh, floating point number everything is converted into bits and it's stored in a memory okay so how does this work okay I'll first tell you what are the bitwise operators uh, they are and ambassador for and uh, th this one is for not this one is for left shift and this one is for right shift I'll write it out here right shift oh sorry this one is left this one is right shift not all these are bitwise operators so everything is performed into bit and then converted into an integer and okay I'll mm, yeah nothing yeah I'll give you an example and actually what happens here suppose I have a integer like 2 a binary of 2 is uh, 10 right 1 0 so how it is stored in memory for integer you have 4 uh, four bytes so it is 0 0 0 0 0 0 and ending with a 1 0 so bitwise if uh, if I do a not of 10 so it's like zero 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 one zero. Not of that would be one 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 one, and end with a zero one. So this number is converted back into an integer and then printed on the screen. Okay, what does right shift and left shift does? It's the same concept. Suppose I have a number like two. Okay, two binary is uh, ten. Okay. So 10 if we do a left shift or okay I will do a left shift left shift by 1 so I'm shifting by 1 so it would append a 0 at the right right hand side so it would become 1 0 0 which is nothing but equal to 4 so always remember a left shift always gives you a multi a number which is multiplied by 2 and the right shift gives you a number uh, divided by 2 I'll 
राइट एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लेफ्ट शिफ्ट या ओके बैक फ्लैश एन या प्रिंट एफ परसेंटेज डी टू लेफ्ट शिफ्ट बाय वन सो आई मट आई मच गेट ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ टू आई राइट थ्री ओके थ्री लेफ्ट शिफ्ट बाय वन सो सो थ्री इनटू टू सिक्स या लेट्स सी व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग यस वी आर गेटिंग एस सिक्स सो व्हेन एवर यू डू अ लेफ्ट शिफ्ट यू गेट अ नंबर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू सो थ्री इनटू टू वी गोट इट एस सिक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ लेफ्ट शिफ्ट देवर वाज अ राइट शिफ्ट एक्चुअली वील टेक फोर सो फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू इज टू वी मस्ट गेट अर आउटपुट एस टू ओ यस वी आर गेटिंग एस इट एस टू सो मेनी अ टाइम्स यू माइट इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड मच इन प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर सेविंग द टाइम एज इन द कंपाइल्ड रनिंग टाइम रनिंग टाइम ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इज सेव वेन यू परफॉर्म बिट वाइज ऑपरेशन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ मल्टीप्लाइंग एन इंटीजर बाय टू अगेन बाय टू एंड अगेन बाय टू टू अवॉइड दैट यू कैन डू अ लेफ्ट शिफ्ट ऑपरेशन इट वुड सेव यूर रनिंग टाइम दे हैज अ लॉट मोर ऑन बिट वाइज ऑपरेटर्स I'll have a separate tutorial specifically on bitwise operators. Okay. Uh the last type of operator is a ternary operator. Uh it's quite simple. So how does that work? You have a condition in it. Condition. You put a question mark after that. So if the condition is true, it will return a value value 1. Or else, it would return a value two. Suppose the condition is true, it would return a value one. Or else, it will return a value two. So, I'll write here ternary. Okay. Wow. My code is going so long. Okay. I'll have a check like. Is four uh, percentage d and a backslash. We'll have is three is equal to equal to four. If the statement is true, I should return a value. Suppose four. Or else, uh, I'll return if it's true. I'll return one. Or I'll return zero. So it should come out to be false, yeah. So it must return a zero. Let's see if we are getting a zero. Twenty. Okay, okay, yeah. A backslash in here. A backslash in. No. Yeah, we are getting it as zero. That means that statement is false. Um, okay, that's it on the topic of op. That's it for the like uh, this tutorial, and on the topic operators. I'll uh, see you in the next lecture. Do subscribe to our channel, like our video, and do provide provide your suggestions for our improvement. Thank you.